and negate that. All right, I think that's exactly right. We saw the pressure coming in before that, and I think a lot of that was people exiting some long positions with the expectations that we were going to get a, a bearish report. We got, as you had mentioned, a little bit of a bearish report, but for the most part, it was within the range of expectations. And the fact that we're holding ground here this morning is very encouraging, not only from that fundamental perspective, but also technical as well. We got down to 102.05 in those August futures, which was last week's lows, I believe, and managed to hold that. Really couldn't find any new sellers to step in at those level. So hopefully we can get a little bit of a rebound here. I want to be more upbeat on this market, but really want to see some confirmation through the charts and technicals here this week. 104 is going to be a big line in the sand for us here. If we can kind of achieve consecutive closes out above here, potentially we make a bigger run towards that psychologically significant 107 level, which is really where we saw a lot of price action between the bulls and bears take place over the past several weeks. So if we can get above 104, potentially we see additional um, movement towards 107, but I think that's going to be a big battleground area. The key thing is the contract lows have held, haven't they, so far? They have, and that is, again, halfway encouraging, a little bit of a silver lining, but we're going to want to see confirmation through positive momentum here on the charts. And again, 104 is a, is a big one to keep a very close eye on.